What's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna go over how I get my videos from looking like this. And I can get my official review on it. Because to this. Just a little disclaimer before we get the video started. You will have to make some purchases. The number one purchase you're gonna need is this DJI Mini Mic. That is what I currently use. You're gonna need that and a media mod for your GoPro if you are using a GoPro. That's my current setup. There's a lot of different other ways you can go about it. Different mics you can buy that are a little more affordable. Different cameras you can use, but this is my setup. This is what I know, so this is what I can tell you about. And I also do edit on DaVinci. I have tried Premiere Pro. It's just not for me. I don't really like the interface. I feel like I've used DaVinci for so long that I just love it. Once you get this, and once you get the media mod, then we can head over here to DaVinci. All right, so right now we have some footage that I recorded. I already posted this video, but I haven't got any new footage, so we're just gonna go over this one. As you can see, if we come over here to the, the audio tab, there's only gonna be one audio, right? If we widen this down, you can see because I record in stereo mode. So this is crucial. You need to record in stereo mode. If you record in mono mode, it's going to merge both mics into one audio. So you're not going to be able to split it and you're just stuck to whatever you get. So let's say if you have one scene where the car is really loud and it overpowers your voice, you're not going to be able to go in like this and edit each individual clip to adjust the volumes to make it work for you. Depending on what mic you use, it might be different. Just go on YouTube and look it up. That's what I did. So what we want to do right here is we want to split these audios up because if you look right here, right? If you look right here at the volume, if I want to turn it down, let's say I want to turn down the car and hear my voice, it turns down both of them. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Alt and Z and drag this down. I don't know. It keeps bringing up that GeForce thing, but basically this just makes a duplicate of the first clips. So if I drag this down also, you'll see exact same thing, right? This is what you want. So now we're going to turn both these clips into mono clips so we can target each mic. Because basically right here, what we're looking at this is one mic. This is one mic and this is duplicated. What we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to change track type to mono. And then we're going to do the same thing for the second track. Change track type to mono. But now if you see both of these are identical, it's the same mic. So if I play it. This is just all exhaust sound. There's no talking, right? It doesn't matter which one you press on. We just got to right click on one of them. So I'm going to right click on audio one and you're going to go to clip attributes. And what we want to do is for the source channel, we want to make both of these channel two right here. So this is going to show the second channel. So we press okay. Now you can see this is, now I got some voice in it. Switch it That's clip. It's so if I, and this is the best part, right? Because now I can turn this second one all the way down, right? And I was like, oh snap, the all mic I is still is on the, the voice. Trunk. So I stopped recording for a little bit because I didn't want to risk getting that mic clip. Like, if I want to get a little clip where it's just the exhaust, I can completely mute my voice, get it in my little pool, and then I switch it put some voice in, mix it with the exhaust, you know what I mean? So that is really just the main part of it. Um, and then you just go in after that and you edit this up yourself. So this is what my videos normally look like after I cut it up. I just kind of keep the audio separated right here and I just break them up based on what I need to. This is the talking audio, so this is why. This is why I have this audio big because I really want to focus on what I'm talking about versus the exhaust sounds up here. I kind of just tone it down a little bit. So if you look up here, I put a negative 4.7. So when there I'm talking- It's so satisfactory getting that second year chirp. You know, you can actually hear what I'm saying, but you can still hear the exhaust in the background. That's how I like it personally. Some people might like more exhaust. Some people might not even record their voice at all. So this is really just personal up to you. So that's pretty much just my whole process and workflow. Um, if you guys want to see any other tips, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to explain as much as I can because I do, I have been doing a lot of research on these things and there's some like niche questions that it's hard to find an answer for online. So definitely if you have a question, let me know in the comments. I am still learning as I go. I'm no professional editor by no means. So you might have a better process than this. If you do stick to it or just drop your process in the comments and let me know. 
some ways I can sauce up my videos, but this is mainly just to show how I'm able to record and edit my videos on DaVinci using the DJI Mic Mini. Thank you for tapping in, listening to me. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If not, then go watch the POVs. <laughs> Hope y'all have a good one, man. Enjoy this weekend. Go buy a TSX, go travel, and go buy a mic and get cool exhaust clips. Catch y'all in the next video, y'all. Peace.